Did the narcissist get away with what they did to you? Did they really gain an advantage from dealing with you? Did they really benefit at your expense? It may seem that way initially, but it doesn't end how you might expect. It just looks that way. Because you're looking at it from the outside. You might see them going shopping. Maybe they bought a new car. Because they got some money out of you. So they've got that money in their account. Which is what they want. They need the money for the thrill. And so they can attract attention. That's all it's for. So they can buy a car to show off to their friends. And they can go to all of these places that they would never normally be able to go to. But they can do that now. After dealing with you. So from the outside it may look like they've got this new situation. They've taken your money to start something new with someone else. And everything looks good in the beginning. They're having fun. Because a relationship doesn't even begin until after one or two years. Before that, there's no duty or responsibility. They're just having fun. So of course it's going to look good. But after one or two years, that's when things begin to change. That's when things start to fall apart. If it even lasts that long. Because the money goes really quick. And whoever they're dealing with is usually running a scam on them. When people deceive or do harm. It will come back to them in some way. Because they're running. And they run into something that isn't what they thought it was. They thought they were going to become more successful. But they didn't. Because it all fell apart. It didn't turn out how they expected it to. And they start to feel embarrassed. So they've got to avoid humiliation. Because they talked so much about the possibility of some future event occurring. But it turned out to be ineffective. And maybe they got played too. Maybe someone got one over on them. So then you won't hear from them. But for the first few months, up until one year, you shouldn't be concerned about anything you see. Although sometimes it may fall apart very quickly, but that's just the honeymoon phase. You have to wait until they start getting bored, or until their mask comes off. Because they haven't really come up. They didn't really get one over on you. They haven't moved on to a better life. They're just surrounded by people who can't get themselves out of it. Because they all have problems. They may think that they've gotten one over on you. But they haven't. 
it doesn't turn out the way that you think it does. It's just your imagination. You don't know what is really going on. They could be fighting every day, but they still choose to stay together. But you're looking at it from the outside, so you assume that they must be doing okay, but they're not. Most of the time they're getting played as well, and even if they're not, it's only a matter of time until they do. So they didn't get over on you. They didn't get away with it. Everything they did to you will create a negative situation for them in the future. When people play the game of cheating and deceiving people, of using and mistreating people, and trying to get over on them, there are consequences that come with behaving in that way, and there's no other way around it. They will experience the negative effects as well. They may think that they've gotten one over on you, but it will come back to get them in the end. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.